Hello traders, FS Piplati here. Today is Wednesday, June 7th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the Aussie dollar monthly, it does look to me like three waves up right there. I was thinking this move down would at least go down and take out this low, but as you can see, we got impulsive up, we got corrective down, and it looks like we got another impulsive up. It definitely could end up being that X wxy pattern and making another move to the downside by looking at all dollar pairs it does look like it is possibly now going to end up continuing up maybe eventually taking out these highs so let's head down to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame it definitely looked more like a crutch and like an abc up but then it made an abc down so that's why i'm calling this possibly a wxy if it is a wxy then it will most likely make another three-way pattern up for the y and eventually end up turning back down if it's not that wxy pattern then it'll just keep on trending up making higher highs and higher lows which are on the weekly time frame so at this point it really doesn't matter too much whether that is in that WXY or whether it is the continuation of the uptrend. Going down to the daily is where you can see almost a perfect downtrend. Looks like an A. You can see three waves up. Looks like an A, B, C, or B. And you can see another really nice looking downtrend for a wave C. We got a nice impulsive up. We got a break of Strutzer. Looks to me like an end of an A, B, C curtain. And that tells me that we definitely want to start looking for longs on sort of time frames, whether it's a WXY or whether it continues the uptrend. Either scenario, we definitely want to start looking for longs on sort of time frames. So going down to the four hour time Time frame last structure level on the four hour was right here so unless price turns down and takes out that structure like that I am definitely only looking for longs in an uptrend so if I see any pullbacks those are definitely the trades that I'm looking for at the end of pullbacks to go long for the continuation of this uptrend if this really is the end of a wave C on the longer time frames then this is just going to keep on trending up so let's head down to the one hour time frame a one hour time frame, we had a little bit of an ABC crescent today. We had a small one, but still three ways down right there. We had three ways down there. We even had three ways down pretty much on every single one of these pullbacks in the most recent time. So I'm definitely still looking for three-way pullbacks. I don't think it's over yet, but if it does make another three-way pattern, then I'm definitely going to enter long at the end of every ABC pattern that I see, especially on these sort of time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.